Captain Marvel 2. Who else is excited about it? Brie Larson, the film's title character, has starred in both independent and mainstream films for years. Among her various awards include a Golden Globe and a Primetime Emmy. Time Magazine named her one of the world's 100 most powerful people back in 2019. Larson debuted on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno at the age of 9 in 1998. In 2005, she released the album Finally Out of P.E. She made her acting debut in the acclaimed independent drama Short Term 12. Her big budget debut was in 2017's Kong Skull Island. And of course, there's Captain Marvel's much anticipated sequel, which Larson has teased. I wonder if that's her in the new Doctor Strange 2 clip fighting Wanda. As we count down the days until both films hit theaters, these are some of Brie Larson's best films. At number 5 is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World from 2010. Despite great reviews, Edgar Wright's 2010 film was a flop. With Michael Sarah as Scott, the adventurous thrill ride centers on Ramona Flowers and her seven nasty exes, based on the comic novel series Scott Pilgrim by Brian Lee O'Malley. The film premiered at Comic-Con in July of 2010, and will be re-released in 2021 to mark its 10th anniversary. Although the film's $85 million production budget was not reclaimed, critics appreciated its visual aesthetic and humor. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World made multiple top 10 lists and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. Larson plays Envy Adams, one of Scott's wicked ex-girlfriends who rose to popularity only after dumping him. Larson shows off her unusual knack for comedic timing in this scene-stealing role. Her new boyfriend Todd, played by Brandon Ruth, tells her, You are correct, I don't know the meaning of the word. He laughs, emphasizing another of Larson's many amusing moments. Number 4, Spectacular Now, from 2013. Sutter Keeley is just a boy who's been abandoned by his girlfriend. He wakes up on a lawn with Amy Finicky standing over him, played by none other than Brie Larson. Larson's role as Amy is the nice girl who doesn't have a boyfriend and likes science fiction, all while Sutter lives in the stunning delusion of a fantastical reality. But despite their differences, they're drawn to one another. Spectacular Now is a 2013 American coming-of-age film based on Tim Tharp's 2008 novel. Brie Larson, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Bob Odenkirk, Jennifer Jason Leigh, and Kyle Chandler all round out the all-star roster. The film earned positive reviews and was nominated for two Independent Spirit Awards. At number 3 is Short Term 12 from 2013. With her co-worker and longtime boyfriend, a 20-something residential treatment supervisor navigates the turbulent waters of society. This short film, coincidentally named Short Term 12, was directed by Destin Daniel Cretton, and it's said to be based on his own experience working with teenagers. The reviews applauded the film's authenticity and sensitivity, and it was named one of the finest films of 2013 by multiple critics. In her first main role, Brie Larson plays the supervisor. It's a stunning performance with striking details like her character nervously digging at her thumb cuticle. This is a nasty habit that I'm sure many of us share. At number 2 is 2015's Room. After seven years of confinement, a mother and her child are finally liberated allowing the boy to see the outside world for the first time. In this movie, Emma Donoghue adapts her 2010 novel by the same name. Joan Allen, Sean Bridgers, and William H. Macy all star in it. Brie Larson's emotionally charged performance as the mother cemented her A-list position in Hollywood, and she duly won Best Actress at the Academy Awards, Golden Globes, and the BAFTAs. A quote from Larson on Deadline, the moments that I feel a huge sense of accomplishment are actually the smaller moments, not the really bigger ones, the televised ones. It reminds me how significant something is and how powerful it is to be a part of a film that gets people in touch with another part of themselves. And finally at number 1 is Captain Marvel from 2019. Captain Marvel was the 21st film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In 1995, Earth is entangled in galactic struggle between two extraterrestrial civilizations, and Danvers becomes Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel features several returning MCU performers, most notably Samuel L. Jackson, who was digitally aged in post-production to fit the film's 1990s period. Despite mixed reviews, it became the first female lead superhero picture to reach $1 billion. 
Larson performs the lead role with confidence that rivals, if not surpasses, recent male superhero efforts, so it's no surprise that the film is getting a sequel. It's due to release on February 17th of 2023. So there you have it folks, did you enjoy the video? Let us know down in the comments below what your favorite role that Brie Larson has performed is. With this we're going to wrap up the video though, so if you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible videos like this one. We hope to meet you guys again in the next video, but until then, I'll catch you later.